Hey there and welcome back, people. Yeah, no, no, not Europe anymore. It's New Granada again. And we're building some iron mines. And every time we build something, we have a we have a huge need of wood. So we're also building. We're also building wood mines. Yeah, <laughs> logging camps from time to time. We could enact national supremacy. Let's have a look at that. We have more supporters than oppositions for that. <coughs> we currently have racial segregation. What would national supremacy mean? Uh, yeah, the intelligentsia doesn't like this change. What does it do? Cultures will be accepted based on shares a heritage cultural trait with any primary culture, shares a cultural trait. Pops will recalculate their interest group support. Ah. Uh, I mean, many people support this, but it's really bad for migration, right? It's it's just not good. Um, and we want to be also friends with Brazil, and that might stop us. Um, hey, Brazil, you ready for something? We would like to join their customs union or them to join our customs union, something like that. There's also Venezuela. I'd really like to um, invite some people into our customs unions, if that is possible. For example, Costa Rica. We currently have a trade agreement. It's not much more possible, Nicaragua. Yeah. The Mosquito Kingdom. Um, absolve obligation. We could do that. They would like that, but. Mm, they're in the British market, of course. They will never leave the British market. I mean, we are flirting with the British. We could maybe join the British market one day. That would be something great, but... We can also work together maybe with Brazil. Yeah, political movement has disbanded. It's okay. Yeah, we're only very carefully building. Because, as you see, it always costs us a lot. The new Grenadine market is doing fine. Also, we need a lot, a lot of construction here. But yeah. <laughs> the price report is terrible, but we can't really build two things at once. That is nearly ruining us. Something's happening here, though. A defamatory article, a newspaper called the... Antiochia Evening News has printed a bigoted article about the Gujaro people living there. We can suppress the article or we can let it be released. We can suppress it. Mm. We could ignore it in Antiochia. One minus one standard of living. No, we'll suppress that thing. Interest group leader retires. Javier de Herrera. That's probably also died. Yeah. The bandit. That was the freaking liberal, the intellectual bandit. Uh, <laughs> good times. Oh, radicals. Will you please go down? Hey, we've got paper mills constructed in Bogota. I think. Have we? No, they're fully employed now. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, because we really need these paper mills. Let's see what we can do here. Pulp pressing or that? No. Um, yeah, they are not really doing well. Uh, they're doing kind of okay. We just need the paper. It's just really important that we have the paper. Paper is so good. I get iron mines here in Antiochia. Let's see what the iron mines would like to have. Mm. Picks and shovels. Yeah, we need tools for that. So we'll go. We're gonna go and yeah, nitroglycerin. Nah, we'll need a tools factory. But for that, we need an iron mine, right? So it's kind of <laughs> kind of mad, bad, wad, rad. Uh. 
let's recover our income a little bit and then we'll build something else we're currently building the paper mills the paper mills are fine the textile mills are fine we would like to have tools or more logging camps we'll see we've got um, this land here two logging camps population's fine yeah we would have more hardwood output here but the infrastructure is already used same goes for this antiochia mm. has a lot of infrastructure still open let's see do we have more like something for wood not really less infrastructure less construction efficiency but yeah that is more the agricultural stage right at the moment at least uh, antiochia could add the logging camp here we could add a logging camp here maybe wow that would be terrible how about here how about adding a logging camp in Bogota? No. Seems best here in Antioquia, but we want to have the efficiencies of scale, right? So really need to have something going here and ah, the coal mines terrible. Resources from here would be really great. I get first we would we could go for resources is this as encouraging the agricultural industry for now but we could really have resources here iron mines are good oh we've got a trade center here in Antiochia that's nice logging camps uses slaves as laborers mm hmm mm hmm 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 But it's resource paradise here, right? Let's see. We don't have much here, but we have much here. So let's build logging camps here again. Here we go. For the logs. <laughs> it's going to be... Antioquia is going to be our resource state. Let's see if we can do something together with Brazil. Customs Union. Na, 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 na. Yeah, they have a much better... Everyone wants to join the Britons. How about Peru, Bolivia? The genial. Oh, nice. Have we already built? Yeah, we've already built. Nice. So logging camps getting getting set up here. Iron mines, not too much, but the logging camps will hopefully go better. I I I, I would think. The logging camps, got the hardwood production going. Yeah, nice. So we got more logging camps. Logging camps are always like the base of your economy or something. Um, now, let's see. We could now make the experiment and go for a tooling workshop. That would be so good. That would be so good. Yeah, let's get the tooling workshops going. Tooling workshops, here we come. <laughs> it's gonna be expensive, but hey, we could just gotta be above the line. Central American interest of the French. Uh, let us see, Bolivar, British Guayana. Great Britain. Canneries, nice, and food industries. We're also going to need food industries before long. Yeah, there's again the wood shortage. The wood shortage is following us around all the time. Tools is actually not that expensive currently. It's kind of weird. Really, no one need tools. I 
I mean, we need services. For these services, we'd need tools. We already got positive tools. Where did we get tools from? <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! There's a visiting abolitionist, and there's a campaign financing. Okay, let's let's uh, let's see. The Ramon de la Santa Cruz from the Intelligencia been torturing Kun Dinamarca recently. Both gathering testimonies for and propagating the abolitionist cause. Slaveholders in the state view this as an attempt to agitate a violent revolt among slaves and demand De La Santa Cruz be expelled from the state at once. Oh, you consider him a moderate? Have you heard him speak? He may not openly talk of the slaves rising up against their masters, but in every speech the indictment of the institution itself and everyone who supports it is so severe that it's difficult to imagine an audience sympathetic to the cause, drawing another conclusion. Slaves may not be permitted to listen, but even hearing that such speeches are being held here will be emboldened them. It's just a matter of time. Mark my words. Be a troublemaker. Um, speaking about liberty and justice must always be permitted. That's, I mean, we're a republic. Free speech, right? Campaign financing. Parties, particularly the Liberal Party, are struggling to raise enough funds for all their campaigning needs this election. Let's see what you men are charging. Fees, yes, that's to be expected, but what's this lodging charge? That fancy hotel room could house half a village, and there's enough wine built here to drown a fish. Votes don't come cheap, sir. You don't do want to win, right? Ah, uh, I don't know. We could give everyone basic funds. If a party can't afford a campaign, should it be campaigning? Yeah, we cannot afford so many expenses. We'll have to come up with something. We have an election coming. Conservative, the Liberal Party is really suffering. Uh, we're fine with being conservative for now. We don't have the money for the Liberal Party. We will support it a little bit politically to free the slaves and stuff, because that's just horrible in our view, but um, we cannot go for for more. Oh, look at that. We could we could get more logging camps going after this. Uh, come on now. Finish the tools workshop. <laughs> after that, we'll have to save up a bit again. Ah, uh, loyalists are, are shrinking. Elections. And the Conservative Party won with 91% of the votes. We could now reform the government, but we're not going to do that for now. Let's see. So, we're in the plus again. Nice. Um, paper mills employed. That's nice. The tooling workshops. Has no productivity. Pharmaceuticals are not nice. Why do you have just absolutely nothing? Crude tools. Would we have? No. We would have a shortage of steel and stuff. Okay. For for now we need wood to go for the for the tools. So wood comes in there. Uh, that, that means we will need to provide more wood very soon. And we're going to build wood camps in Antioquia. Screw frigate unlocked. Nice. Do we have a workforce here that is good? Population is rising. Pop growth is there. No pop growth from migration. Mm. Are they... Uh, yeah, we have peasants. Okay. We just get more logging camps going here. Logging camps are making for a... For a good way. And yeah, the grain, the clothes. The clothes are really something too. Let's see. We need to, we need to care about the clothes. The clothes are not a... a cheap problem but we need the wood to to even build something look the wood is is down here as soon as we build something wood goes up like mad so there's that market access is good here um, 
Slave Shona, multi, multi team. Okay. Slaves on one of our nation's mercantile ships have risen up, seized control of the ship, and sailed to nearby Costa Rica, where slavery is illegal. It's not up to foreign courts to decide the status of these people who sailed under the flag of our nation. Never can this right justly belong to another country, no matter the cause. Um, it's out of our hands now. It's out of our hands now. Now we're gonna get rid of the slavery because we're gonna have people coming in. 98% of the market access here? <laughs> we don't have enough infrastructure here. Ah! How can we improve the infrastructure? Uh, mm, mm, that's the problem, right? We don't we don't reach that here. Okay, uh, we'll just have to wait a little bit. Can the urban center help with this? Market squares, maybe? No. Is that public trains? No. Unlit streets, street lighting. Market squares, not so much. Okay, I mean, the infrastructure is just not there. We have to wait this out. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll invest in Medellin for the time being then. Uh, we're getting up here. Railways unlocked. Rail transportation. That should increase our infrastructure here in theory. We could build a railway, but it would eat us up. <laughs> it would really eat us up. <laughs> so as long as we don't need it, we will have to not do it. Active research. Yeah, nice. So we would really like um, something that helps the logging camps. Oh yeah, the water tube boiler, chemical bleaching, mechanized workshops. That helps the textile mills. Baking powder for the food industries. We should start food industries. But not yet, I believe. Improved fertilizers. Mm. Yeah, they would be nice too. But they come from chemical plants, so let's rather stay... Maybe on the lower side, what could we do here? Oh, we're very advanced here. Central Archives gives us more taxation capacity. Yeah, let's go for the Central Archives. I like that. Just improve the administration. And here... I think we can afford one more logging camp here. Wood price going up again. <laughs> How is it with Bogota? Really not doing anything here. We're paying tax. We have some people. We're getting some tools out there. But the base price is just so low. Yeah. Peace treaty between. Oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. US is getting getting Texas back from Mexico. American-French rivalry ended. Interesting, interesting. Also got good logging camps here. Let's see about the infrastructure. When the infrastructure is growing, hmm, railways and ports, we could incorporate that state. Uh, Aha, uh -huh, okay. Yeah, incorporate the state. Why not? It will take something, but... Encourage resource industry. Sure. Um, Quitcher. Encourage agriculture. Yeah, we're, we're in here. Ah, it's cool that it's also here now. I have never seen that. It's also, it's also hidden. <laughs> Yeah, first we need to use our, our stuff here. Logging is always good, but we could also go for more. Like we have one more logging camp here. We could go for more iron mine or for a coal mine. A coal mine would also be great. 
here. Uh, oh, the proposal for reliance, the Mosquito Kingdom. Yeah, of course. It's gonna be nice. And uh, hmm, now, and now a coal mine. Coal mine would be cool. Yeah, let's add a coal mine. Do we have the wood shortage now? No! For one one time we don't have the wood shortage. Ah, so good. So good. We can build now without a wood shortage. We'll still we'll still get one more logging camp though, but it's gonna be wood shortage time. Uh, we will cancel that and we will encourage the resource industry here. Because yeah, it's just getting into that direction. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, and we're selling our book. They want still to enact the national supremacy. We don't really want that. We have more loyalists coming in. It's cool. What what's going on here with the diplomatic play? A native uprising diplomatic play against the Gaita. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the influence. The influence. Let's see about the Brits. The Brits. The Brits. The Brits. Uh, we cannot do anything with the Brits. Maybe one of the islands here. Santo Domingo. Hmm. Can't do that. Havana. Cuba. Can't do that. What? Zulia. Ah, that's a state in Venezuela. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh, San Salvador. Hmm. Cannot really get more going here. Maybe Argentina. Argentinian market. Hmm. Nope. We are neighbors. Okay. No interests there. Nothing much. But we'll get a coal mine, the coal mine, the coal mine. The coal mine will use, will use tools, I believe. Um, let's see. Picks and shovels. We'll need tools. So our tool factory is going to be uh, improving, I hope. Tooling workshops. They're so low. I, I wonder why. Now, there's some demand for tools now. Gonna be good. Standard of living decreased. What? Ah, Santiago Daza from the trade unions has been touring. Okay. Um, Daza is it? Yeah. Speaking about liberty, must be. Must be okay. Standard of living increased again. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we need some infrastructure here. I think we might go for one railway here in Kundimarka. What will that bring us? 20 infrastructure. That's huge. Really, that's huge. Um, that's going to be helpful. 45 weeks. Ooh. After that, we're going to have to save it up. Going to have to save it up like mad. Now, that will help us out, I think. Um, sugar going down. Oh, Brazil. What could we do here? Should improve relations again. They're belligerent again. I don't like that. Join the customs union. Oh, obligation. Nah. Proposed trade agreement. Oh, I don't like that. You're belligerent. Mm -hmm. They want to conquer our states. Yeah, that's not great. Can improve relations with the Netherlands here. Hmm. 
We'll see if we get rolled by them. Donation of knowledge. Aha, we turned the Christmas off to spend some of their personal wealth to fund the creation of a university in Kundinamarka. It's a wonderful idea. It's full risk. <laughs> what do we have? When we've got enough. Chemical bleaching unlocked. Nice. Give us that university. It's going to be fantastic. Let's see. We've got the employees going there. Oh, qualification increase. It's so good. It's so good. We got the university going. Soon we'll have a railway. The golden ages will begin. The tools factory should make some money now. Especially when we have the railway going and then we can freely expand there again. Uh oh. Great Britain. Oh god. Uh. Diplomatic play against the Mikito. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's terrible. They want independence. Uh, they want a subjugation. Okay. We'll be supporting you. Hey, hey. Yeah, we're auto supporting them. Uh, let's get something going here. That's so terrible. Uh, can we mobilize or something? Got some troops here, troops here, troops here. Let's recruit a general. Mm, Grand Colombia. Summon of the armed forces is cruel. Has more kill rate. Less popular. Defensive strategist. Nice. Is romantic. Explorer. Traditionalist commander. Experienced defensive strategist. Mm, let's get go for someone with, from the armed forces. Right. Um... We'll mobilize the general and we'll send him to defend the frontier. No. Uh, advance the front. Ah, uh, yeah, stand by. Let's go back. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> We have no chance against Great Britain. They will just eat us up. Can we even get there? Uh, it's idling. Mm, yeah, we can give orders here. <laughs> Let's give some orders, but we cannot do much more. Our mobilization is only 70% now. Once we have 100%, we might send them over. Yeah, we're mobilized now. Everyone's defending. No, we will not uh, abandon. We're supporting them, okay. Ah, okay, that was leaning towards and that was supporting. <sighs> yeah, we're on their side now. We're on their side. Let us see what we can do. We now have... We should have... Let's get back to the... We have a resource shortage in railway. What do we need from, from the railway stuff? So we're getting some infrastructure through, but what do we need? We need... 
<laughs> engines. And we need coal. Coal is okay, but we need engines, apparently. Current steam trains. Yeah, cargo prioritization. Or passenger carriages. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's not great, but we get some infrastructure out of it. Everyone is pushing and pulling. Mm, all right. So, coal mines, mm, iron mines, mm, logging camps, mm, fishing wharves. Mm. What could you get going? Tobacco, coffee, mice. Not sure. What about you here? Logging camps here, coal mines here. Not, not good at all. The paper mills, the textile mills would be worth it. Any plantations worth it here? Not really. Mice, maybe. Going back to the logging camps. So it's either logging camps or it's going to be textile mills. Yeah, we should wait a little bit because we're out of money. And now probably uh, Brazil is going, going to come and exterminate us. Are they? I don't know. We need some money anyways. But now something's happening here, right? No? Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, there's nothing much has happened here. Has Mosquito just given up or...? No! Nice. And we've got central archives unlocked, so more taxation capacity. And we're instantly getting more taxes. Uh, dialectics. One more max education investment. Psychiatry. Oh yeah. Bureaucracy population cost modifier goes down. Influence goes up. I like that. It's good. Hey, Great Britain. Can we join your customs union? Hey, Venezuela, can we make a customs union? Hey, El Salvador. No, Ecuador. No, nothing. Nothing much. Okay. Logging camps would be a good investment still. Iron mines. Yeah, I know, I know. Tobacco plantations, but that would be better even here, right? No, actually not. Well, probably because the market is here already. We should kind of get more tools going here, right? But no. Uh, how is it going here? Dye workshops will not be good. Uh, clothes are at a super premium. Uh, we need to expand. Not worth waiting. Logistics. Nice. More conscriptable battalions. That's just nice. Oh, we're suffering. We're suffering. The credit. The credit is due. 37 weeks. That's going to ruin us. Hmm. All that money. Sugar plantations. Uh, oh my gods, we're going broke, broke, broke. Hey Brazil. What will you do? Relations are cordial. Attitude is belligerent. Can we have our institutions going? We have no institutions whatsoever. Distribution of power is wealth voting. It's better than nothing. Internal security. Oh, everyone wants that. But what would it lead us to? 
Mm -hmm. Less radicalism. A secret police. 16 bureaucracy cost, 16 bureaucracy cost. We can mobilize some battalions. Mm, that is supported by two interest groups, the bourgeoisie and the armed forces and the National Guard. Yeah, the intelligentsia doesn't like this change, but some security would probably be nice. No home affairs. Mm. No one really likes that. <laughs> Let's go for the National Guard. Let's try to go for that. Ah, oh, no, we, we are on a bureaucratic shortfall already. Okay. First, we need more bureaucracy, then we can go for this. And now let's finish the... Oh, there's an election upcoming. Liberals are gaining votes. Hmm. The radicals are gaining votes. The loyalists are also growing. Job creators. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sugar plantations fully employed. Yeah. Bogota, we got the textile mills ready here. The railway is working so and so. Let's have an overview. Yeah. We have enough infrastructure ready now. That costs us, but it's also kind of good. So what do we need? Yeah, penalty is 50%. But that's fine. We can live with 50% penalty. Textile mills are ready. Yeah, Liberal Party is the same, 15%. It's fine, it's good, it's okay, it's okay. So, we'll see. The tooling workshops are interestingly gaining. The textile mills are also employing people. And we should get... Oh, there's a peace treaty. Uh -huh. Not really that interesting. Pop growth is going up. We have some medium attraction here. Standard of living decreased. Uh, what's what's happening? The play for power. The rural folk guy. He wants to secure a spot for the rural folk within the government. It's not entirely clear if they should be rewarded for their novel tactics. There's only one light in the street that leads to the rural folk headquarters. There's only only one light inside. There, Juan Nunes relaxes among the sumptuous mahogany furniture and velvet cushions. The lamp is identical to those that have been sent from the east. The ends justify the means, and our means are very, very justified. It's difficult not to not believe him when he offers an inviting seed by his side. Mm. Yeah, sure. We'll recognize him. It's fine. It's fine. We don't want radic radicalism. Oh, what's going on with the authority deficit? Where does that come from? And the oppo opposition interest group approval is going down. Ah, uh, the bureaucracy too. Ah, uh, the trade routes. We have to look at the trade routes. Okay. Let's have a look at the trade routes. What trade routes do we have that are unproductive? Tools and fools. Ah, clothes. Okay, so we're in the positives again. Now, let's see about the authority. Mm. Need to get rid of some authority usage. Uh, is there a lot of industry in Panama? Not really. Okay, let's get rid of that then. Uh, what do we have here? We had some road maintenance. We can get rid of that. And emergency relief. Yeah, if the opposition is so strong, we'll get rid of the emergency relief. That also gives us some more money. Intelligentsia avant-garde. Nice. And honest work. Cool. So we got more logging stuff, and that's all fine. Enact landed voting. Oh, come on, no. Just no. Oligarchy. Autocracy. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. We will make a very, very slow change. Hey, Brazil.
what could you would you <sighs> can we become friends with Great Britain no not as well and with you not at all Railways okay. Subsidizing the railway. <laughs> Gives us some infrastructure. Mm. Yeah, we're doing good enough. We're doing good enough. Taxation capacity is fine. We're gaining some money again. Price of tools is falling. Uh, Peru, Bolivia have declared uh, rivalries here. How about Costa Rica? Baking powder! Oh, we need food industries too. But not yet, I fear. Yeah, first we need to recover from the terrible expenses that we get from our infrastructure stuff. But, uh, oh look, there's something happening. There was something happening. No, not anymore. Okay, let's see what we have. Yeah, we have a good shortage in the railway. Paper mills are doing fine. Textile mills are doing fine. By workshops, craftsmen sewing, that doesn't really help us. But we're still operating at a good profit. Triage, nice. Let's see about our market. Um, yeah, it's still at a premium. Furniture, to get furniture would also be good. Furniture and grain, of course. Let's see. Maybe a mice farm. Hmm. Isn't too attractive. Logging camp is relatively attractive. Furniture is terribly bad. Paper mills, nah, that's, that's just more of a subsidized thing. Logging camps, yeah, we could we could go for more logging camps here. Sugar, not at all. Population growth, yeah, we should really invest into this land here, and Kauka as well, because we've just we've just got people to work there still. Nice coffee, tobacco, it's all kind of good. Ah, psychiatry, nice. Mm, one more max education investment. Dialectics would be fine. How about military research? Maybe like something here. Power of the purse. Mm, hydraulic cranes, one more port max level. Shell guns, uh, but that's something we have to work out. Field works. Yeah, more defense from the field works. We always have to think about uh, Brazil, and that's kind of scary. <laughs> Tooling workshops doing terrible. Diplomatic plays from France and United States. Okay, okay. Logging camps here. Yeah, but it's got still not still not enough. How's the price report? Mm, tools going up a bit. Sugar dialectics, nice. One more max education institution investment. So let's see. We should be able to get maybe an institution going here. No, not not yet. Only the investment though. Okay, we could can go mercantilism to free trade. 
That would be something. Uh, we're currently at mercantilism. Merchant guilds. This allows privately owned. What about free trade? Um, in uh, increases trade route volume, less bureaucracy cost, more competitiveness, no tariffs for any goods. Change in revenue is negative, but it it would probably help us. I mean, mercantilism is good and all. We have tariffs on imports and exports. Who would support this? Uh, only the industrialists. Trade unions and, industri uh, and rural folk don't say they want that. In general, more support it. Free trade. I mean, we would get less income, right? No predicted revenue. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's too expensive for now. Let's go for more money. Money, 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 money. Um, yeah, speaking about money, money, money. Um, how about adding a consumption tax <laughs> on luxury clothes or something? That seems effective. Uh, landed voting. No, no. We'll just tax your luxury clothes, man. Industrial barriers. Factories in Kulinimaka are refusing to hire Afro-Caribeño Afro people. Okay. All hands are needed, though, to build the future. You know that. You know that. We have no engines. Ah, oh, it's so terrible. Terrible! Come on now, give us more money. People give us more money. Oh, we're gonna need more consumption taxes. Actually, the standard of living is pretty good in New Granada, so... Um, yeah, and radicals are... Radicals are rising still. Hey, come on. How about your standard of living? I know you don't care. I know you don't care. Petty traitors. The iron mines are really not bad. Not good. Sugar's the same. Tobacco plantations would be cool. Apparently, but we want the tobacco plantations here. Yeah, they're not as good here for, for some reason. Yeah, then we'll just expand logging. Come on now. Get into the positives, will you? Aha. Uh -huh. um, improve relations broken? Why broken? Oh, because we're cordial again, probably. Wait, 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 wait. We could join the customs union of the Netherlands. So we would be able to join the Dutch market. The Dutch market. That would be a big step. I mean, the problem is, I mean, we would, we would invite the others into our market, but they won't do it. So, um... That is really a big step. Look at the Netherlands. Look at the Netherlands. So, that's the question that will stay open for now. Should we join the Netherlands as a customs union? Would you do that? I really tend to, because we can really thrive with our goods in the Netherlands market. There's not much from the Le Netherlands here. I mean, they might, they might one day say, hey, get out here or become a protectorate. But we need something against Brazil that will not found some kind of union with us. 
They just won't. And for that, we might need to join. Hmm. What is the result of that, though? What's the result of that? Um, our market will need ships, because without ships, we will probably not be able uh, to join the market, really. So we need shipyards here. And we only got fishing wharves, so... I mean, we've got a port, so it's... Huh, kind of okay, right? But I don't know. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot to be come uh, through that port, so... We'll see each other in the next episode when we um, consider joining the Netherlands. Have a great time until then, and happy gaming. This is Manuel Khan, signing out. See you soon, and happy gaming.